Hi everyone, welcome to the latest Rapture Mini Bite. This week I am delighted to say we have Valerie Gorgon. Val has appeared with Rapture twice. First, playing Gertrude in our production of Hamlet by William Shakespeare, and then in a totally different change of pace, playing Jackie in our production of Shangalang by Katherine Johnson. Val is a versatile actress whose career spans film, television and theatre. She's perhaps best known for playing opposite Robert Carlyle in Hamish Macbeth and opposite John Malkovich and Peter Capaldi in the hit film Dangerous Liaisons. I'm thrilled that Val is taking part in Rapture Mini Bites. So without further ado, I'll hand you over to Val who will introduce and perform this week's Rapture Mini Bite. Hello. These monologues are from NF, alias Wally Simpson's Treasure Trove of Material. Wally is best known for the plays A Resounding Tinkle and One Way Pendulum, produced at the Royal Court in the 1950s. He is also widely regarded as the forerunner and inspiration behind British surreal comedy, most notably Monty Python. I was lucky enough to work with Wally on his last produced play, if so, then yes, which he wrote while he was in his 90s. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you very much. What has happened to old-fashioned chivalry? There was a time when, to all intents and purposes, it was de rigueur for any man of breeding to take his teeth out before giving his in amorata a love bite. In these days of conservative dentistry, Fewer and fewer people have this option open to them, alas. And this particular form of courtesy, like so much else, has become a thing of the past. One is left to ponder on whether progress is a desirable thing. It is well known that St Francis preached to the birds. And though one suspects that in many cases it went in one ear and out the other, this was by no means water off a duck's back for the thinking majority. They were the better for it. Indeed, more than one bird became a regular attender at his Sunday morning services as a result of that impromptu sermon. It was while on a visit to North Africa that St Francis found himself addressing a swarm of locusts. To begin with, they were intrigued, but that wore off and soon barely one in three of them was bothering to listen. They had, in any case, as they thought, heard it all before. And it was more fun to go back to poking one another up the backside with their antennae and clambering about on top of one another. And then some electrifying phrase from St Francis would filter through to one of them and, pricking up its ears, it would listen and nudge the others. Soon they were all listening with rapt attention, determined not to miss a word. The cornfield they had been laying waste was forgotten as they hung on his words. So effective indeed was the experience that more than two-thirds of the locusts decided for Christ there and then and mending their ways never went near a cornfield again, except to test themselves out and see whether, with God's help, they really could resist the temptation to lay it waste. As time went on, they found it increasingly easy and were able to fly off with barely a spasm of the old urge. It wasn't long before they kicked the habit altogether. It is with some such outcome in mind that I have tried reading the sermons of St Francis to the green fly that are plaguing my fuchsias. But so far, without result. I know it's not a fashionable thing to say these days, but you don't have to go far to see the hoof of a Dartmoor pony imprinted on most of your present day crimes. Dartmoor ponies I've got a lot to answer for, always have had. Murders in the Rue Morgue, Jack the Ripper, Mary Celeste. Pony hoof marks all over them. A lot of people dismiss it as a load of nonsense, of course, which is why they go on getting away with it. 
Thanks, Val. That was a quirky delight. Thank you so much. Next week's Rapture Mini Bite will be available next Friday. So please, if you don't already, follow us on Facebook or Twitter, sign up to our YouTube channel, and do keep checking into our website at www.rapturetheatre.co.uk. Thanks again for your support. Thanks again for all the wonderful feedback and all the Rapture Mini Bites. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care, stay safe, see you soon.